During the SCC VM creation phase, 12 VM guests are created and instantiated. The order in which they are created and instantiated are important. For example, the SCC NAT VM guest instance is the first one to start and holds an index of 1. Both Harbor Registry and Master rely on the NAT server guest to have successfully started. Harbor Register 1 and Master both hold an index of 1. Worker 1 and Worker 2 rely on the Master 1 to have successfully started. You will notice a number behind the VM guest instance in the virtualist command. The corresponding number index represents how many instantiations exist for this element. You will see 2 for worker. 2 means there are 2 VM guest servers for a worker, for example, worker 1 and worker 2. Rook Ceph has three indexes created, which means three servers were instantiated. Rook Ceph 1, Rook Ceph 2, and Rook Ceph 3. Rook Ceph relies on Master 1 to have successfully started. Prometheus 1 has only one index and relies on the Master 1 to have successfully started. Loki 1 has only one index and relies on Master 1 to have successfully started. Analytics 1 has only one index and relies on the master 1 to have successfully started. PODM has only one index and relies on master 1 to have successfully started. DB has two indexes. Two means there are two VM guest DB servers. The DB servers rely on a NAT server. Balancer has one index and relies on a NAT server to have successfully started. PGM Bouncer has only one index and relies on a NAT server to have successfully started. Execute the create instance script called create underscore instance.py. Refer to the documentation carefully when configuring your SCC VM guest instances. The order matters. Be patient. This phase could take some time. After all VMs get instantiated, you may want to issue the verse list all all to make sure all VM guest instances started successfully. The list should appear in the order you see provided on the screen. Verse list all all showing ID of one NAT server running to index number 16 at the bottom, PG bouncer one. They should follow in the order you see on the screen. After all guest instances cre are created and successfully started, you may want to go ahead and SSH into your NAT server by issuing an SSH NAT server. You should be able to log in without having to be prompted for a password. Once you log into the NAT server, issue a ping out to your domain name server to verify network reachability. Perhaps ping www.google.com. It should resolve and as well ping to the Google server out on the internet. If the NAT server cannot resolve names or ping to the outside world, you will need to troubleshoot to determine your reachability issue. If network reachability is successful, you can proceed to the next phase of your SEC appliance deployment, pushing Docker images to Harbor.